Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this video series of logic. The fallacy of equivocation is the topic of this video. It's a fallacy of ambiguity. Now these fallacies arise from the use of ambiguous language in the premise or conclusion of an argument. The fallacy of equivocation is committed when the conclusion depends on a word or phrase being used in two different ways. The following illustration will provide an example. This homework is a real headache. I know. It is a lot of assignments. Two aspirins will make a headache go away. That, that is true. Last time I had a headache, I took two aspirins, and it went away. So two aspirins will make my homework go away. Hmm. Let's examine that illustration. Cindy's premise is that her homework is a real headache. And in this premise, headache means an unpleasant task. Cindy then changes the meaning of the word headache to refer to a physical ailment. And then concludes that aspirin will make her homework go away. To avoid committing this fallacy, the words and phrases of your argument should remain consistent. And if you want to improve your critical thinking skills and raise your IQ, then I recommend watching our other videos on logic. Comment, like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.